Thank you so much for signing up to Live Pigeon. I'm excited that you're here because I wanted to create a welcome video, one that will kind of do an overview of the software, making sure that you get it all set up correctly. And before we jump into that, my name is Brandon Fisher. I'm actually the founder of Live Pigeon. And I just wanted to make sure that you have the best experience when using this software. And so what I wanted to do is just to show you really quick how to get this set up so that you are the most successful in getting your message out into the world. So let's get into this. When you first log in to Live Pigeon, this is what you'll see. And the first thing that we want to do is to connect our Facebook account. So the first window that pops up, it says Live Pigeon will receive your name, profile picture, and email address. So go ahead and click continue. And in this next pop-up window, this step is really important. We've had a lot of people will just leave this as friends and it will actually mess up who actually sees your post. So on this, we actually want to change it to public. And don't worry, we'll never post on your behalf without your permission. And then go ahead and click OK. And in the third pop-up window here, it's saying that Live Pigeon is going to be publishing to pages. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And just like that, our Facebook account has been connected. Two are now speaking together, which is awesome. Um, now let's go over the overview of Live Pigeon itself. Right now we're in the dashboard. Now the dashboard gives us the ability to choose how we're going to go live. These two buttons here are actually here. Go live now, that's this button, or schedule. Now scheduled also will show up any videos that we have scheduled, but you also can click the schedule button here which is the equivalent if we're in the dashboard and clicking schedule here. So they both serve the exact same way. Then there's the completed. Now completed is these are all the videos that have actually gone live. And we do have this check for updates button. And this is anytime we come out with a new update, uh, every now and then it's good to just click the check for updates button to make sure that you are on the current version. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's talk about the flow of Live Pigeon. So how would you like to go live today? There's actually two options that we have to go live. You can go live now or you could go live scheduled. For this example, I thought it'd be cool to show you the scheduled feature. So let's go ahead and click on the schedule button. And for this example, let's say that we want to go live on Friday. And let's just roughly just keep the same time. Let's say 2.06. Once you've chosen your time, you can come over here where now you can choose a thumbnail. Now this is completely optional. I think that this part confuses a lot of people because you see an image of yourself and it's like, oh, I don't want this. Um, again, this is optional. There's two things. One, the button at the bottom, if you click that, you can actually hide this whole thing. And then you don't have to worry about it showing up in your news feed that you're about to go live. But if you do want that notification, you can click the show schedule notification and you could choose your thumbnail. But the thing is we haven't chosen where we're gonna be going live yet. So again, this is just an example photo of getting you thinking about like, if you wanna upload a custom thumbnail, you can, and this is the time to do it. And if you don't choose anything, it's just gonna to default to what's already there on Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And from here, we're just gonna fill out our title and description. From here, I'll click Next. I can click to add a destination. I'll go ahead and click Next. What's nice about scheduling your content is we've given you multiple ways of how you can upload your videos. One, you can upload directly from your computer. You can upload from Dropbox. You can upload from Google Drive. And this fourth option is we can actually upload the video later. Let's say that you want to go live on Friday, and today is a Monday but your video won't be done editing until Wednesday, but you just want to get everything in place. You can then click the upload video later option, which will then create an incomplete pigeon on the dashboard, which is nice because that means that you just have to go and finish it, which we're going to get into a little bit later. And just like that, our video starts uploading. And it's really cool because as soon as it's done uploading, it's then going to switch over to processing. Processing just means that we are basically optimizing your video for Facebook Live. And just like that, we've uploaded our video. It's all ready to go. It's scheduled and everything. Next, we're going to talk about incomplete pigeons. Now, if you've scheduled a video and then you've selected that bottom button that says uh, upload a video later, 
that's why you might have a video in the incomplete pigeon. So what's cool about this is if you come over here, you actually have the ability, you can delete it. Next to that, you can actually edit the time or the title or description of the video. And then this up arrow right here, this is, if you click this, this will allow you to upload a video and then it'll replace that and it'll actually move it. So let's do this. So if I click this video here, it's going to then upload it, it'll process it, and then it'll disappear from incomplete pigeons. And just like that, we've gone in, we've replaced the video. And what's really cool is if I click on dashboard now, so that's what an incomplete pigeon is, and that's how you can actually get it to go away. Up here at the top, we've got the connected to Facebook. If I click this, I can actually disconnect from Facebook or I can sign in with YouTube. If I sign in with YouTube, this is how we're gonna go live to multiple destinations at the same time. We can go live now to Facebook and to YouTube at the same time off of a single video upload, which is a pretty cool feature. And then if I click on my name here, this is where I can either log out of my account or I can go into my account settings. Now inside your account settings, you can feel free to come in here and update any of this stuff. Uh, if you have a new credit card that you need to enter or you can enter in your billing address or if you want to change your coop which is basically what plan you're currently on you can click a different plan you can either upgrade or downgrade your plan anytime um, and then once you're done here I can just go ahead and click back to the dashboard and the last button here is called my coop and if you click on that this little thing will slide out and it'll show you how many videos you've used in your plan for the month and you can either choose to upgrade your plan, you can choose to just see where you're at. Like a lot of times people are like, well, how many videos have I actually gone live with? And just like that, you guys, we are done. That was Live Pigeon Software. Again, once you see like how we got our account connected to Facebook, uh, once you saw like how we actually went through the flow of getting our video to go live, that's pretty much it. If you can fill out your title and your description and you upload your video, uh, we take care of the rest. And that's what's so amazing about the software. So I'm excited to have you jump in right now and start using it. Uh, if for some reason you do run into something like uh, anything, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Our email is at the bottom of this page. Our phone number is also available. Give us a call at any time. Like we're here to help you. Uh, really, our whole goal is how can we help you to get your message launched and live. And so that's it, you guys. Super excited that you're here. Again, my name is Brandon Fisher, and I cannot wait to help you guys to be able to get your messages out into the world. And with that being said, until next time.